Good morning, lovely yogis. Today for our yoga class, we will need two blocks or two thick books. Once you have those and you're ready to start your practice, sit onto one of your block on its lowest heights and just a loose cross-like position with your knees in a downward slant. And then sitting up nice and tall through the spine, start to breathe. Letting your belly expand with your inhales and your jaw and your upper body relax with your exhales. And letting your mind finish up with the, whatever you're thinking about, not rushing, breathing until you feel that you're calming down, that things around you are becoming still. And continuing to sit and breathe just like that. We are in week two of Astaya, non-stealing. This week, notice where you are stealing from the earth and stealing from the future. Where are you taking without returning something of at least equal value? This week, live in reciprocity with the earth and have awareness of the future. Not only do we steal from others, but from the earth forget that we are spirits having a human experience. We are visitors to the human experience. We are visitors to this land, to our bodies, and to our minds. To fully appreciate this reality is to accept that nothing on this physical plane does or can belong to us. To own something, then, becomes a form of stealing. We use the term I. The ownership of things is steep deep in our language and culture and makes it hard for us to appreciate the extent to which nothing really is ours. This guideline asks us to view everything in our possession as something precious that is on loan to us. And for the time that it is on loan to us, we are asked to care for it. The bounty of the earth is for the community, not the individual. Imagine what would happen if each time we took something, we gave something back, an inherent sense of reciprocity. Not only are we stealing from the earth, but the future as well. We have lost our sense of gratitude, our focus on what we don't have, or what we might not have in the future, rather than on the abundance right before us. If we stop long enough to gaze at what is laid out before us, to let the mystery of beauty and the wonder of the seasons sit deeply in our souls, our hearts cannot help but burst forth in thanksgiving and gratitude to life itself. Make all small decisions as if they mattered seven generations into the future. Let's take a few more deep breaths, really reaching up through the top of our head. Taking those moments to contemplate the words.
thoughts and your mind on your breathing. Take five more full breaths in and out. To your last exhale, slowly let your eyes open towards the ground. Bring yourself forward off of your block and bring it around in front of us at its highest height at the top of the mat. Leaning back, let's switch the direction that our legs are crossed, still just in a gentle cross leg position, so pushing your lower legs away from you. And we're going to bring our, our forehead down to the block. If your forehead doesn't come fully reach, then just place your hands or your elbows on your block. So when you're ready, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring yourself forward. Continue to breathe deep as you're sinking down. Letting yourself settle in, letting your body relax forward, breathing up and down the spine. again for our legs. Come to the fingertips. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Coming over to the left. Exhaling. Planting the hands down. One more breath to lengthen up through the heart. And as you exhale, slowly sink forward. Breathing to relax the upper body. And to find more space, maybe in your hips. And as you inhale, lift your gaze, coming back to your fingertips, and back to the front of the mat. Straighten your legs out in front of you, both of them, toes up to the sky, and then scooching yourself forward just a little bit so that your spine wants to be nice and tall. From here, start to breathe deeply in and out through the nose. As you're inhaling, you're lifting through the spine. 
And as you're exhaling, you're sliding your hands down your legs. Inhale, breath is important here. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen, straighten the spine. Exhale, sink. Stopping where your body says to stop, or just opening the backs of the legs gently. Keep your toes flexed.
And as you exhale, you lean forward from the hips, keeping the spine straight. And continue to breathe just like we did with our forward fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, keeping the shoulders and collarbone down. And exhale, fold. Moving meditation.
Inhale, lift halfway, look ahead. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, straight spine all the way up. Lifting hands up to the sky. And exhale, hands to the heart. Let's do a couple sun salutations here. Continue to wake the body up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold from the hips, spine stays straight, coming all the way down. Inhale, lift halfway, gaze ahead. Plant your hands, step your feet back one at a time into your high plank. And you can bring your knees down, or you can chaturanga. Inhale, pushing into your upward facing dog, or cobra, depending on your lower back. And then exhale, lift the hips, press back into your downward facing dog. Fingers are spread nice and wide, grounding through your index finger knuckle, Lots of space through the back of your neck. Spine is straight, tailbone lifted. One more breath, in and out.
With your next inhale, pull back up with your left hand. And we're going to switch our stance. So bring your left foot up, quite a ways, so that your heels are lined up and your back foot is now angled. So that you're able to square your hips to the front of the mat. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale again, pulling forward with both your hands. Slowly bringing them all the way down to the blocks in front of you. Now from here, you'll notice that your left hip has gone back again. Pull it up so that your hips are squared still to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up to the heart. Gazing at your right big toe. Exhale, if it feels good, you can bend your elbows. Leaning down over the right foot. Keep that left hip moving forward. Breaths. With your next inhale, press to your right foot, coming all the way back up, and exhale, hands to the heart. Other side, left foot replaces where the right foot was, grounding down, taking a bigger step back with your right foot, heels lined up, back foot parallel, both legs straight, inhale open, exhale hinge, pulling forward, let the left hand come down, wherever it lands on the leg, don't reach for the ankle, right fingertips up to the sky, rolling yourself open. Deep breath through the right side body. See if you can lengthen through the top of your head a little bit. Fixing the stance, so right heel comes up a little bit, right toes are angled, square your hips to the front of the room. If you can't square it comfortably, then bring your feet closer together. Inhale, open, arms up, exhale, pull forward, slowly coming all the way down. Hands come down to the blocks. Take a moment to re-square your hips to the front of the room. Take a deep breath in, exhale forward. Keep moving that right hip forward, bending through the elbows if that feels good. Gaze at your left big toe and breathe. Today, just to feel, to tune in to everything happening internally in the mind and physically. And with your next inhale, you're reactivating, so you're pressing through your left foot, coming all the way up, and exhale back to the heart. Removing the blocks. Big step back with your left foot, turning both your feet parallel to one another with a slight pigeon toe. So it's better to have your toes slightly pointed inwards than outwards here. It protects the knees. And then energetically press your legs towards one another. You feel all those muscles activate. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, hinge from the hips, spine straight all the way down. Hands to the ground or a block. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Top of the head is reaching down, coming down towards the ground. Elbows are pointed backwards between your legs. 
couple more deep breaths. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, press to the feet. Come all the way up. Exhale, release. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, lift up. Exhale again, hinge from the hips. This time, keeping your hands on your hips. Once you're down, activate those legs again, pressing them towards one another, and press your shoulder blades and elbows towards one another behind your back. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. 
We're going to lift our right heel off of the ground and slowly bring it down. And then the left side and slowly bring it down. Mindful movements. Keep breathing. Keep the jaw soft, keep the shoulders soft. Right side, left side. Both heels come down, bring your hands down to your legs. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, press into your left leg, twisting your gaze over to the right. Take a few breaths. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, pressing into the right leg, looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Hands come back to the heart. Inhale, up into a star. Exhale, pivot the feet. And come back to the front of the mat, doing a little wiggle. Perfect. Take a moment to bend your legs. Do your release. And then to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge. Fold forward, nice and slow. All the way down. Hanging out again in Uttanasana. Your knees can be bent here. Letting gravity come again through the back of your neck. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, hands to your hips. Inhale, all the way back up. Good. Toes angle out to the edge of the mat. Heels are angled in. Inhale, reaching up. If you have sore knees, only come down halfway, resting your elbows at your knees. Otherwise, you're squatting your sit bones all the way down. Once you're down, reach your hands out in front. And let your neck again be heavy. Breathe through the spine. Watching your belly breathe in and out. See if you can make your Buddha belly bigger with your inhales. Slowly lift the gaze, bring your hands the Anjali Mudra at your heart. So your inhale, pressing your arms into your legs, lifting your heart. Hands come into the heart center. Couple more breaths. back down in front and we're going to do a couple knee taps. So from here you're coming up onto your toes and you're letting your knee come down into the center tapping. Bring it back up, switching sides. Going back and forth just like that. Getting into your own pace. Taking your time with these movements, feeling all the sensation happening. And then back to the center, bring yourself forward onto both knees. Walking yourself back on your mat, toes together, knees to the edge of the mat. 
Sitting yourself back in child's pose as you reach your hands forward. Let the forehead come down to rest. Take a couple deep breaths. We're still compressing our hip flexors here, so it doesn't feel like that much of a release. gratitude in. Whatever that looks like for you, gratitude looks different for everybody. And see if you can grow that feeling as you're laying here. You don't have to think about what you're grateful for. Just have that the feeling of gratitude within your heart. And as you're growing it, you're seeing it energetically move around the heart and grow so that it's enveloping the entire body. Growing your gratitude until it fills the entire room. And keep making it bigger, encompassing your house, this town, this country, the planet. Out. 
Left knee moves towards the left wrist. Shin comes down in front of you. Left foot flexes, bringing yourself down mindfully, moving slow. Stretching the right leg out behind you, bringing yourself up to your fingertips, lifting the heart, take a breath. softening. Full breaths, in and out. Inhale, lift. Coming all the way back up, leaning on your hands, feet to the edge of your mat for some windshield wiper. Side to side, nice and slow. our back body. Make sure you bring a block with you. And then rolling down, hugging the knees into your belly, really wrapping your arms around the legs, lifting your forehead up to the knees, and then exhale, lay back. Feel the pressure of your legs up against your belly and continue to breathe. Settle in and rest on the block. 
Your knees are coming in towards one another, pressing towards one another, and you're refolding your shoulder blades. So there's lots of space. Take a few breaths. Watch your belly move. your right heel. Still lots of breathing space in your heart. Slowly lowering right foot back down, planting it in. Remember it's hip distance, the block is at the sacrum still. When you're ready, moving slow, grounding through your right foot, left foot comes up to the sky. Pressing through your left heel,
bring your knees back up towards one another. Hands come down to your sides. Stretching your legs straight down below you. Hands come up to your sides. Fold the shoulder blades underneath. Let your feet fall naturally away from one another. And let's take three full breaths into the nose, out through the mouth.
back up, returning to your seat. So sitting up nice and tall through the spine, take a few more breaths, don't lose connection with the breath.